Okay, so I am going to attempt, let me bring this closer, to, this is my ganache ball all done. <clears throat> um, I need to clean up my workstation and then I am going to roll out fondant. Basically what I did is I measured from around here to around to the other side. It's 15 inches. Um, so 15 and 15, but I'm going to actually do it a little bit larger, more maybe like a 19 by 19, just to make sure that it covers it completely and it can kind of get in without getting as many, um, like creases, uh, in my work. So if, yeah, just follow along. Okay. So I start with vegetable shortening. I like to make sure that I need my fondant very well this does take some time sometimes i'll do it in like stages like i'll do one bit and kind of really need it and then like work and do like the next bit and then work them all together um the reason for this is you're making it more pliable um i.e not getting like as many cracks um hopefully no cracks at all but you know sometimes i don't know fondant can be its own little thing so you know just kind of if it's easier to work with kind of breaking it up like this and then just again you're just going to keep continuing to repeat this process okay so once you have the dough already usually what i do is make sure the outer is as smooth as possible. And then what we're gonna do is, I've got my large fondant rolling pin. Um, I've got my attachments I'm going to add to the ends because I want it about that thickness. Let me actually, it's off really quick. I've been sitting for a while. Okay. So, do that. And then actually, because I forgot to, I need to rub my workstation with Crisco. Um, you can do cornstarch as well. I've noticed because I'm in such a dry area that for me, um, if I do cornstarch, my fondant will crack. So that is why I choose not. Um, but anyone in a sticky area, that's definitely more of what I would suggest for you. Like if you're in a very humid area, um, you know, go, go, go with what works best. But I live in Arizona. It's very hot all the time. <laughs> Even today, it's like, I don't know, probably in the 80s, 80 degrees or so. Um, and we're in our winter. So that tells you anything. Like in the summers here, it gets to 115, 118, around there. So then what you're going to do is you're just going to continue to work this out. I like to pick it up and move it around a little bit um, because I've noticed sometimes um, what can happen is I won't realize, like I'll roll all of it out one way and then not realize that it got stuck so it's just kind of like a measure for me to make sure that it isn't stuck but also i need to measure and just make sure so only at 10 we're at about 15 right there so i need to roll it out more this way because we're trying to get 19 by 19 or as close as possible, which is gonna be four inches each way over. And that is just to um, give extra kind of space. Man, rolling out fun is a process. If I ever have the money, I'm investing in a sheeter for sure. Oop. Okay. Uh, it is so hard to see with the video like this. Okay, so as you can see, I kind of show you. There we go. I'm going to measure one more time. 
and then make sure that I've got it rolled out to an even, even thickness all the way around. So we are at, what are we at? Our small, always make sure you do your smallest. So barely 15 on that edge and ooh, 14. So still a ways off. I thought I was gonna have enough fondant, which I do, but I thought, So, it gets tricky as you get down to the end because even these long rollers are only so long. Just trying to make sure everything is the same thickness as well. Nothing, I swear, nothing drives me more crazy than when I roll out my fondant and the thickness is like completely off. Okay, so I think we're good. There we go. All right. We are gonna try. So here is my sphere, so you can see. We're gonna brush it with some water. I'm just leaving it over here to the side, but I'm just brushing it with a little bit of water. That'll help it adhere. Just brushing, brushing. Okay. All right, and then what I'm gonna do is very gently try to fold that over like that. And then bring this over gently, gently, hoping that I don't get any elephant skin. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I just, oh, you know what? I did not line that up right. Let me pull that over a little bit. There we go. Okay, so what we need to do is work quickly in hopes that we don't get any pleats, elephant skin, etc. I'm just gonna work Kind of going around it. Oop, I'm starting to get some pleats, so I'm trying to work before it starts to elephant skin as well. So, what I always do is work front to back. That way, in case I have any anything that doesn't look great, it's in the back. So that's my trick, in case anyone wanted to know. Um, you know, or, or anywhere where you can fix it, like if you're able to fix it, this is actually going better than I planned for my first. There we go. Okay, perfect. Oh, thank God. All right, so it's just now a matter of getting the back, and then I'll take the video and kind of show you guys just very carefully pressing into any pleated areas to kind of smooth them out. Just kind of pulling as I go along. I will say a sphere is a million times easier to cover. Okay, and then I saw this trick that I saw this girl do and I'm gonna try it. Basically, she used a, like a rolled up piece of fondant to kind of smooth, right? So like she was like smoothing, smoothing smoothing to get down in there okay so my front looks great which is awesome and basically you're just gonna take a knife and just kind of cut around down the bottom leaving a little bit extra but just to kind of start pulling away some of that extra and then I'll kind of show you guys what the back looks like. I got to work on the back. Um, it's not as pretty as the front. A little bit too, okay. But it's also not terrible. So I'll leave some extra on the back just because I'm going to keep going. But I want to get this wrapped up before it starts to dry out. Okay, 
so let me take this off and kind of show you guys. Oh my god, I almost dropped this one. Okay, so as you can kind of see, and obviously I'll go through and kind of smooth with some fondant, just kind of tucking in, but then here is the back. So I'm gonna bring the back around to the front. As you can see, there is a crease there. And I'm just gonna kind of tuck in these, tuck in this, and then I'm gonna slowly work to kind of smooth, there we go. As you can see, kind of smoothing in. Smoothing in, right, so. And then I will go again, like I said, with a piece of fondant and I'm gonna go through and kind of smooth even that out um, anymore. But that is how you cover in fondant. Um, obviously, cakes can be a little more difficult.